Hello everyone, my name is Tanvir. Here is our prototype of the airport security system. Let me demonstrate how the project works. As you can see, the passenger is being checked with the wires connected to the LED and the buzzer. Since the passenger doesn't have any metal objects on her, she can proceed to the boarding gate. As she present her boarding pass to the boarding agent, the latter will enter the boarding pass number on the keypad. If the boarding pass number corresponds to the flight, the LCD counts and displays the number of passengers boarding the plane and wish them bon voyage. The accepted passenger is then detected by the ultrasonic sensor and the door will automatically open by the motor. I am will talk about another case. If a passenger is screened with a metal or metallic object, on her, the contact between the wires and the metal will complete the circuit and the LED will turn on and the buzzer will around with the security agency. I, Rakshay, will talk about the other case where the wrong boarding pass number does not correspond to the flight number. Then, the LCD will be displaying the number of passengers unauthorized and indicate the passenger is not found. The buzzer is used to make an alarm sound when the wires touch a metallic object. The sensor has two pins plugged on the breadboard as you can see. The wire is connected to Arduino pin 13 and goes to the right pin of the sensor. The other wire is connected to the ground and goes to the left pin of the buzzer. Now I will explain the coding. First, we initialize a few variables. We declare the connection of the buzzer as output since the sound will be the output. We set the delay to know the frequency of the alarm sound from the buzzer. Now let me show you the LED. The Arduino pin is connected to the negative of the LED and the positive which is the longer side connected to the open wires. We also have a resistor placed between the connections to prevent surplus of current, hence avoiding the LED to burn. The coding is very simple. First, we define variables that will store the value of the pin. In the loop, you can see that the digital right, where the high value will switch on the light and the low value will turn it off. The 4x4 membrane keypad is a device that allows the user to enter a specific number to allow it to do the following actions. In our case, we first declared array of 4x4 matrix with keypad symbols, followed by we connected the row and column pinouts for the keypad. Pin 2 to 5 for the rows and pin 6 to 9 for the columns. For the code, we first declared the library for the keypad, which includes all necessary methods. Next, we look at two constant variables of data type, byte, called rows and calls, which describe row and column respectively. Next is the 2D array for the 4 times 4 matrix keypad called keys. Then we declare row pins and call pins respectively for row and columns. Rows are connected to pins 2, 3, 4, 5 and column is connected to pins 6, 7, 8, 9 each. Then an object is created and MakeKeyMap describes a method which creates the keys and declares them. The variables are connected to all the objects and sent to a class and from there we make the keypad functional. In the code, we receive input from the keypad which is stored in the key and is checked in a conditional statement which is fulfilled with print key in serial. We put another if condition to compare for passengers boarding pass and to send to the LCD instructions. 
eight keys were initialized as correct values and two of them were the invalid ones. Now, let's talk about the LCD, that is the liquid crystal display. It's used to display whatever message we send it. So, how is it connected? The LCD is first connected to the LLC L2C serial interface adapter. This module simplifies connecting an Arduino to a 1602 LCD using only four wires. The connections from that adapter are as follows. The GND goes to ground, VCC goes to 5 volts, and the SDA and SCL goes to A4 and A5 respectively, which are the analog output pins. As for the code, we first include the LCD library. This line allocates the LCD to the specific address. Then the lcd.init line initializes the LCD. The backlight is then turned on, calling this function. Now, the set cursor function sets the position of the cursor. We actually have to see the display as a matrix. The second number, that is 0, corresponds to the first line on the display. The first number corresponds to the starting left position of the message from the screen. Then we displayed the bon voyage to the LCD with the print method. After, we initialize X and Y, the number of passengers checked in and the number of passengers to whom access has been denied. So, if the key pressed is correct, the LCD is cleared with a clear function. Bon voyage is again printed on the first line, along with the total number of the checked in passengers on the second line defined by the number 1 in the set cursor um, method call. X is then incremented. Otherwise, if the wrong boarding pass number has been entered in the keypad, the if loop prints the total number of passengers whose access has been denied in the second line while incrementing its specific counter that is Y by 1 each time. The HCSR04 ultrasonic module is a device which sends sounds at 40,000 Hz which travel through the air and bounce back if there is an object on its path. The distance can be calculated by just considering the travel time and speed of sound. It has four pins, ground, VCC, trig, and echo. The VCC and ground pins of the module are connected to the five volts and ground of the Arduino board, respectively. The trig and echo pins are connected to any IO pins. In our project, we have used pins 11 and 12, respectively. We set the maximum distance to 200 centimeters. In the code, we have included the new ping library, which includes the necessary instructions to run the sensor efficiently. This code initializes the pins and the max distance. US, which is microseconds, which takes in a value from the sonar.ping method, which returns the echo time in microseconds or zero if no ping is detected. This is divided by US round trip CM, which returns the value in centimeters, which is then stored in the integer variable A. This is displayed at serial 115200 and is put through an if condition to work with the motor. Now we'll talk about the server motor. The server motor is a device that can turn to a specified position up to 180 degrees. The ground pin on the server motor connects to the ground on the Arduino. The VCC connects to the 5 volt and the pulse connects to the pin 10 on the Arduino board. A library is included for the server motor. We define the pin where the motor is connected. Then we create a server object for the server motor, which we can use to send instructions to it. Then, if this condition is fulfilled, we will turn the servo with this code to 90 degrees in a specific direction. And after a 3 second delay, we will turn it back the opposite way. This will turn the door and open it and close it. With this, our project comes to a conclusion. Thank you for watching.